who creates the best white dress shirt that money can buy. Let's get into it. So the first dress shirt we're going to discuss is from a long-standing retailer called Joseph A. Bank. The dress shirt that I got from Joseph A. Bank is from their reserve collection. It is a slim fit and honestly when I got this shirt I didn't have the darts in the back. I had to tailor the back of the dress shirt to make it more form fitting and more slim fitting even though the shirt was an original slim fit. It was really baggy and it needed a lot of alterations and it was something that I definitely could not wear out in public. Uh, but the neck fit really good and also the length of the sleeves was really good. If I wear this under a jacket it shows a lot of cuff which is something that I like to do. I like to show at least half an inch of cuff. So the sleeve holes I didn't feel like altering those but the sleeve holes could be a little bit bit slimmer and I probably will go back in and slim the sleeves of this. The fabric is a non-iron fabric which I think is pretty nice. It does do its job of not getting a lot of wrinkles which is something that I give to this uh, company. They really did a good job of making this fabric. Overall I have to say I'm going to give this a 5 out of 10 when it comes to fit. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 when it comes to fabric. I have another slim fitted brand that we're going to talk about and it's going to be a lot better value and it's going to fit a lot better for a cheaper price. Speaking of a better fit for the better price, it is a brand, I love it, it's called TM Lewin. First shirt that I got from TM Lewin and both of these were $30 which is a steal. The first shirt that I got is a 15 and a half in the neck and it's a 34 and a half in the length of the sleeves. It is a fitted fit and it fits really good. I have to say this is probably the best fitting one that I've tried on so far and I really like the quality of it. It's a non-iron but this non-iron is a lot softer than the other non-iron. And then it also has a French cuff, which is something that I absolutely love. I don't really like the standard cuff. I think a French cuff is the way to go. And I just think it's, it puts a little bit more pazing in the outfit. The other shirt from TM Lewin is a super fitted fit. And I think this is a little bit too slim for my liking. It still is a good fit, but I find myself sweating in it more. It's more prone to wrinkles because it is just a plain cotton. And so those are some things that you wanna consider when you do buy this shirt. I definitely prefer the fitted over the super fitted shirt. But I have to say one thing that I don't like about these TM Lewin shirts is the height of the collar. The collars are really not that long and it kind of creates this weird look when you put on a tie. The tie looks really bigger than the collar. And so a lot of the times I decide not to wear these shirts with ties. It's a great entry level brand. If you're going to decide between Joseph A. Bank and TM Lewin, I recommend go with TM Lewin because it is going to be a better fit and you're going to get a lot of better value for your dollar. As for the next brand on this list, it is a classic. It is a great brand and it is Suit Supply. A lot of people when they go to Suit Supply, they think of suits, but not necessarily dress shirts, casual shirts. But Suit Supply has a great selection of all those other things. Disclaimer, this shirt is and you guys might not like this because I always preach affordability, but this shirt was $98. It is very expensive, but I have to say this is probably my favorite out of the three shirts, other shirts that I've talked about so far because one, the fit is perfect, the collar is perfect. It doesn't have removable collar stays, but I don't think that's a drawbreaker for me. It's a good fit. Collar does stay underneath the jacket when you wear it, which is something that I like, and then it also looks great with the tie. As for the fabric, I have to give it a 9 out of 10. This is a non-iron fabric, and it's a very thin non-iron fabric. The other brands have had really thick fabrics that get hot, that make you run a little bit hotter, and so this suit supply fabric is a little bit nicer. And this shirt, just the overall build quality is a lot better than the other three brands that I talked about. And the fit, guys, this fit is off the rack. It is perfect. I just recently purchased a suit supply suit that you're gonna see in future videos. And everything that I've tried on at a suit supply store has fit perfectly. I haven't needed to tailor anything. Uh, with the suit supply suit, all I need to do was a hem on the pants. So really great products at suit supply. And the dress shirt is something that if you do have a bigger budget, if you can spend a lot more, then I highly recommend you go ahead and buy yourself a dress shirt from Suit Supply. Final brand that I'm going to talk about is an all-time favorite of mine, and that is Indochino. Now, the dress shirts that I got from them, I kind of expected them to fit a little bit better. They did a good job with the neck. They did a good job with the sleeve length. They did a good job with the sleeve width, so the amount of fabric that are in the sleeves. But the body of the sleeves, the sides are fine, but the back has a little bit more extra fabric than I'd like, so I am going to have to take out my sewing machine and dart the back of that. That could be a video. 
But overall, I do have to say this is a really good shirt. It is prone to wrinkling because it is their standard cotton. It's not like a non-iron like some of the other shirts that I talked about. But it is good. It gets the job done. It looks nice. And I also, along with the white shirt, I ordered two more. And I'm going to do a review on all three of the Indochino shirts together once I get them tailored. Because I think these are nice shirts. And if you want something custom like my other two shirts, this is really the best company. Because Suit Supply, TM Lewin, Joseph A. Bank, they all uh, are off the rack brands. They're known for their off the rack. Suit Supply does do custom, but the other two brands that I talked about, they don't. So Indochino's known for their custom fit. And really, I feel like if I was to order more dress shirts from them in the future, I could probably tweak a few things, send in a few pictures, and they would gladly adjust it. Another thing that I do like about the made to measure shirts from Indochino is the fact that they offer a tailoring credit. So I believe it's like 25 or $30 per shirt, and that would be more than enough for me to take these to the tailor and dart the back but because I know how to do that myself then that's not really something that I'm going to need to do. So here's my complete ranking of the brands. Coming in at number four is going to be Joseph A. Bank. The overall quality off the rack is really low and so I wouldn't recommend you buy this if you're looking for something that's going to fit you really good off the rack or if you want something that's got more of a tailored fit. Number three is going to be TM Lewin. I think it's a great brand. It's a great entry level brand. It's cheaper than Joseph A. Bank and Men's Warehouse but you do get a better fit. You get better quality materials, but not as good as some of the other uh, materials on this list. Number two is Indochino. If you want a custom fit, if you want something that's made to measure that's going to fit you perfectly, you might have to get it tweaked a little bit, but Indochino, they do offer credit to get that done. But I think that these are great custom shirts because you can customize the details. And finally, number one on the list is going to be Suit Supply. I honestly, I can't get over the amount of quality that was put into this shirt. But again, it is the most expensive shirt on this list. It costs $98 for one shirt. So that is oftentimes going to be a deal breaker for most guys. But if you do have the money to spend. I mean, honestly, I recommend saving up and getting a suit supply shirt. But if you have the money to just discretionary throw around, you can buy a $98 shirt and not be worried about it. Get the suit supply shirt uh, because that is going to be the best fitting. It's going to have the best fabric and off the rack. You really can't beat that. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did so, please be sure to hit that like button. It helps us grow here at Gent Style and I will see you guys in the next episode.